Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, a lecturer in Akhlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to a series of the lectures of 8th class maths. We have discussed the different different uh, normal algebraic chapters, numerical chapters, geometrical chapters in our 8th class. Today we are going to discuss a simple chapter which is actually easy to understand but uh, difficult to realize. Most of the part of this chapter is only realization and visualization. That is, just we have to imagine and just we have to visualize everything. Okay? How do we do it? What are the different ways? What is an object? From where do we start? Shall we start? See here. The chapter is named as Visualizing 3D in 2D. What do you mean by this D, 3D, 2D? That is nothing but dimension. What is this dimension? Dimension is the basic division of a length. That is, for example, uh, if I consider a duster, see here, if I consider a duster, how many dimensions does it have? It is a 3D figure. Okay, that is, I have to check what is the length, what is the breadth and what is its height. Okay, if I consider a scale or else let us consider this, it has only single direction. Okay, that is 1D in practical. I mean, in theoretically, this is a one dimensional. Okay, two dimensional is a paper, it has length and breadth. Three dimensional length, breadth, and height. Okay, then how do we represent a box, something, a 3D object? A box is a 3D object, right? It has length, breadth, and height. How do we represent a box in a plane sheet? Right, that is by using a dotted sheet okay is it clear by using this pattern we'll uh, get this kind of sheets even you can find it at the end of your uh, textbook we can visualize a 3d object okay how do we do that what is the process to do there are different different ways you can make it you can make a different uh, cubes, you can make different shapes, okay. For example, if I draw like this, just tell me, what is the shape of this? Tell me. What shape is this? That is nothing but a simple cube, isn't it? This is its top surface. Yes or no? What did we do is, we drew a simple planar box of same distances if you observe here. Okay? This is your cube with all sides will be same if you observe. Okay? This is what we are going to draw in this chapter. You can draw many, many, many kind of shapes like this. But remember, it should be always slant here. That is most of the diagrams which you do, it should be almost 45, 45 like that or 45, 60 or 30, 60. There are different, different rules. Okay. Based on the shape, it will change. Okay. That is, uh, this kind of diagrams can be drawn on a dotted sheet. Okay, and this kind of shape or this kind of view is called as isometric view. Okay, which makes an angle 45, 45 with the horizontal plane or else it can also be 90, I mean for 60 and 30. Is it clear? Did you understand? Using this plane sheets and everything we can realize many solids. What are the different solids you know? Just tell me. Tell. Uh, cube, cuboid and the next cylinder, cone, sphere, is it? But other than this there are few basic things those are called as prism okay, and pyramid. What are these prisms, what are these pyramids? That is, pyramid is if I have some shape on the bottom and it will end as a tip like this, same like a cone. 
okay for example if you hold a cone that is ice cream cone let us see we'll have a circle on one side and then the tip on the other side is it right it will be something like this is it right this can be simply called as cyclic pyramid why this has a pyramid and this has a cycle or a circle on the bottom okay if it is square like this what is it called as it is called as square pyramid is it right very good then what about prism prism is justly a half of it or else we can say it as on the bottom and the top both are of same shape for example here circle here circle okay this is nothing but cylinder yeah right? cylinder can be called as circular prism okay what about cuboid can i call the cuboid as a rectangular prism i mean right can i call it as rectangle prism why because the bottom is also rectangle top is also rectangle is it clear these are all different different uh, shapes which we can represent it in a simple dotted graph okay and not only that for every shape for every 3d object we have to represent in terms of 2d what are the main uh, concepts or what are the different terminology is here you have to remember that is e v f what are these e is edge edge is this line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that okay v is vertices vertices is these points okay f is face this area this is one face this is one face this is one face okay this all are always given in a ratio like e plus 2 is equal to f plus v this should be satisfied for any shape if this are not satisfied the shape is not formed okay this popular relation is given by euler and it is popularly called as euler's geometrical relation okay did you understand what is e er edges v is vertices f is faces the relationship between edges vertices and faces is e plus 2 is equal to f plus v which is popularly given by euler and it is called as euler's geometrical relation okay shall we verify this relation for few solids let's do observe here this is a shape what is this cube okay how many face does a cube have just tell me how many face how many faces does a cube have tell face bole to the side for example if this room is a side i'll have left face right face top bottom front back how many faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 therefore they have six faces how many vertices just add 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 4 four ends okay therefore it has eight how many edges let us take the, for this okay let us consider it as a some cube border like that 1 2 okay the next 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is it right see here there is a kind of cuboid how many edges do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay therefore it has 12 edges now check f plus v 8 plus 6 that is 12 i mean 8 plus 6 is 14 e plus 2 that is also 14 clear See here, 
This is triangular pyramid. Base is triangle, right? This is pyramid. Okay. How many faces do we have? One, two, three. Three faces with a base face. That is four. How many vertices do we have? One, two, three, and four. How many edges? You can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Clear? Now just add F plus V. Four plus four, eight. Six plus two, eight. Both are same. Right? And the next this pentagonal pyramid. The diagram is bad. Try to adjust. Pentagonal pyramid. Okay. How many faces do we have? Obviously, five faces of four, five pentagon sides and the base. Totally six. How many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Clear? How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. The base five and the lines to the tip. Now just tell six plus six is twelve. Ten plus two is also twelve. Right? Is this rule satisfied? All are equal, right? That is the Euler's relation. E plus two is equal to F plus V. Clear? Then only a shape can be formed. Fine. Good. Similarly, there are a few more concepts you have to remember. Is how do we find the development surface? For example, if I want to draw the surface for this, okay? Uh, how do I tell this? Take a cube, or else prepare some kind of cube with a normal cardboard or a normal paper. How do we cut it? See here. This can be made. For example. this on the left side this is on bottom this is on top this is on left on the top will be this this is a developed surface of a cube right just check here this is front face 1 2 3 4 5 and iska piche 6 clear ye piche ka surface is this on the left side open is 2 On the top side is five. On the bottom side is three. And here it is four. And finally, it is first on the top. Is it right? You have to represent any shape like that. Okay. Or else, this one. How do you cut it? Just a normal thing. Till we will have a triangle in between. We'll have. different pyramids like this just taking them and joint it clear similarly if they give the shape you should be able to draw this shape clear there is the only thing which we have to remember in our chapter what all we discussed we discuss what is the 3d 2d and 1d then we discuss how do we draw a 3D solid on a normal 2D dotted plane sheet. Yes, yes. Remember that all the dots are separated by a equal distance. You can get it in the market that kind of sheets. And most of the textbooks have this sheet at the end of the textbook. If you observe, okay, you can even practice there. And we have learned the different shapes. We have learned what are prisms and pyramids. What are prisms? The bottom and the top shape will be in same. That is the design, or else the circle or whatever. Prism is the base will have a particular shape, and the edges will end at a tip. That's why it is called as a pyramid. Fine. And these edges, faces, uh, vertices, they make a relation as e plus two is equal to f plus v, which is popularly called as Euler's geometrical relation. Okay, we have verified for different shapes, right? And finally, we have learned this surface or how do we cut a paper? This is simply called as developed surface. Clear? Did you understand? Or else, if you want, uh, if it is a circle, okay? If I want to make it, or else, if I want to make a pyramid, 
circle pyramid that is nothing but a cone how do we do that is nothing but isn't it just if I fold this if I uh, join those both I will get a cone ok is it right it will be like this if I join I will get a perfect cone clear you do understand fine this is a chapter visualizing 3D in 2D clear fine let us meet in the next session with a new chapter of class thank you